Before we do, let's catch up with Pat O'Brien. All right, Vern, thanks. Well, I'm in the edit truck, and for a reason. Usually before one of the top skaters goes onto the ice, we show you what we call a profile. You know, before Kurt Browning skated, we showed him riding a horse. Before Victor Petrenko, we showed you pictures of him throwing rocks into the Black Sea. And we had one prepared on Christopher Bowman as well. Honest, uh, Rich, hand me that. Here it is. We really had it done. But you're not going to see this, and for good reason. Because the guy who dropped out of the Nationals and arrived here at the Worlds in Halifax had such an incredible week, we'd be cheating you if we didn't show you just that part. So here it is, we'll call it simply Christopher Bowman's week, or how a few not so funny things happened on the way to world competition. When Christopher Bowman got off the plane here in Halifax, he was confident, ready to go. Ready to bury the memory of last year when Kurt Browning of Canada took the gold. Lesson learned. Right? Seeing the American flag second to the Canadian flag was like, at that time, someone had slapped me in the face and said, You idiot! <laughs> Why didn't you go for the damn brass ring? And I was really, at that time, I think, turned around and I promised myself as I stood there in front of our flag that I would be 100% committed to being totally aggressive and going after the commitment took him to the mountains of California, where he was handed a list of strict and ironclad rules. This time, it was going to be no more Mr. Nice Guy. But because of Christopher Bowman's never-ending free spirit, strict and ironclad rules are for other skaters. And if you're his coach, Frank Carroll, this begins to wear you down. And by the time they got to Nova Scotia, well, the soap opera began. Okay, now we're up next. Do you think you could do an outer forward eight and get the sideline on, just line it up? Just do an outside eight on top of it? Yeah. Do you know what's wrong over here or not? Or do you think it's on? Yeah, it's on. Okay, <coughs> fix it. Fix it, but don't go over it. You know, do an outside eight. Fix which one is wrong. First order of business was the compulsories. And under normal circumstances, the coach helps you pick out a patch of ice. The competition can be won or lost here, but these were not normal circumstances. Frank Carroll was nowhere to be found. And you thought Knott's Landing had a plot. Yeah, that's why I was waiting for you. Well, I couldn't get here. I did the best I can. Okay. You know, I thought maybe you'd come and look at the ice. Well, I mean, you were like right here, and you know, I was waiting for you. We had time. Okay. No, I'm just saying. <clears throat> were you and Christopher arguing out there today? Someone told me that. No, not nothing. any more than usual. Yeah. What was that all about? Just frustration um, or? Well, no, just that, you know, dealing with Christopher and get, getting your mind and his mind together is, is a bit of a chore, and mm -hmm. sometimes I have to really be very firm. And it may seem like I'm, well, I'm a very animated person anyway, and from a distance you might think that I'm angry when I'm intense, and mm -hmm. there's a difference, I think. I want to do the hip loop. I want to do it on the hip a little more, okay? <coughs> So I want you to do the stroking, you know, after the ballet loop, and I want to do the inabau with more movement and flow and the triple loop together, okay? Okay. I know you're tired, but this is the only There's practice we have of the day. The ah, five minutes. Five minutes, Mr. Bowman. That concludes the warm-up. At the practice, I'd ask skaters to please clear the ice. Yeah, I'd love to have a drink. Help. I haven't even had dinner. Call me. Where are you going? Are you coming downstairs? I'm a prisoner. Oh, you can't come down. <laughs> prisoner in your own mind. Uh. Is he out of control? Um, I wouldn't say he's out of control, but I think he's near being out of control. 
and uh, you know I try to do what I can but sometimes I'm very frustrated yeah. uh, this really is not important to me I mean the important thing is is I'm doing the very best I can and I'm only human <laughs> I mean that's just the way I am I, I would like it to be you know Christopher Bowman you know uh, the world champion the Olympic champion and do everything that it takes to get there but the same at the same time I don't want it to be where, you know, I'm, I'm held back as a person. Well, Christopher Bowman's week comes to a conclusion one way or another when we come back from Halifax.